Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Have you ever been to a party that you didn't know anyone or had to go someplace where you really didn't know the people? You might know just the person that invited you and that would be about it. And you get there, do you go early or do you go late? I like to go a little early. I like to watch people come in rather than them watch me come in. It's a little bit scary to walk into a place that's you really don't know anybody. And then, now you have to hope you can strike up a conversation. And what are you going to talk about? Well, chances are you have to find someone that looks like they're at least somebody you can approach, right? Because a lot of times that's the hard part. Who should I talk to? Who is, who is inviting? and have an inviting personality to go over to and say hi to them and um, ask their name and find out if they know anybody that's in the place besides the host because maybe that they don't know anybody either and then you maybe have to try to strike up a conversation and hopefully you're a very good listener because that most people if you ask them to tell you tell them about tell you about themselves they will talk away, and but you have to listen and don't try to think of something else to ask them. Just let them keep talking and make it so that the conversation just kind of will flow. It will find its space, but don't force it. And now I'm going to put a little video in. Actually, I have three little videos that I want to put in. I had a request to see Mr. Brown, so let's go look at Mr. Brown. Are we going to wash the floor? Yeah, okay. Just a minute. Let me put it down. I have to wash. Are you going to... Okay. The spot is right here. Here's the spot. You have to scrub it. Scrub a little bit. No, don't tap it. Okay. Okay. Let me put it over here a little bit. Are you taking it for a ride? What are you doing? Oh, how am I supposed to do it? Yeah, that's right. Oh. You want to get on again? Okay, scrub. We'll scrub there. All right, there's nothing there to scrub, but... Oh, that's paper. You don't want that. Okay, all done. All done. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Good job. Are you ready for bed? Are you ready for bed? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's, let's put you to bed. It's bedtime. There you go. Good girl. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Uh-huh. Good night. I also want to show you, I walked outside today. And so, Aretha, you gave me the inspiration to go outside. She's been going outside, oh gosh, when it's bitter cold. She goes out when it's minus degrees. And we've got it actually nice today. We are in a little heat wave. It was, I think, 30. 30 31 today. 31? Wow, that was, it was nice out. The sun was shining. There was not much breeze at all. It was beautiful. We'll go to that video. And right after that one showing you where I walked when I went to give eggs to the neighbor. So you'll see that little part with it. Well, Jim's outside. I think I'll go out for a little bit. It's sunny out today. He said he'd go out and play in the snow. So I'll walk. I'm going to walk where it's safe. We're walking on the driveway. As you can see, he's been shoveling some of it away. Some of it, the sun has melted. I decided I'd come outside since it's nice out for a change. We're in a heat wave. I can't, I can see you. <laughs> I see you. You got your ears in. Hello. Yeah. Hello. I have to show you, I put on good boots. See, put my little boots on. These boots, the snow is so high. Look how high the snow is to me. And this is what I went through, now watch. 
I'll show you. See why I needed the bigger boots? Look at that snow. That's what I was going through. That kind of snow. That's too deep. <sighs> I see, oh, here, I'll turn you around. If I can turn you around, I think I can turn you around. There I am. I'm in the, I hope I'm in the camera. Um, I see Aretha walk every day and I thought, well, if she can walk in her really cold, cold, cold weather and she's got the minus temperatures. I don't have the minus temperatures. Today is actually very warm out. There's no breeze. Look at this pile that Jim made. I'm gonna show you. I will stand up, I'm five feet but it's, it's a rather tall towel. See that pile? <laughs> Look at that. That's behind me. He pushes the snow way up into our yard so that, so that, um, he pushes the, it way up there so that when it snows more, we have a place to put it because otherwise the piles get so big. Like here's, Here's at the end of the driveway. They get too tall. Ooh, sun is blinding me. Well, we'll walk up the road. Take a little walk on the road. There's no traffic right now. It's pretty quiet. Ooh, I don't know how to handle this thing. I hope I'm in the camera, because I don't know. It doesn't have a viewfinder. It has the just the lens doesn't have the the viewfinder you know the little picture where you can see whether you're in the frame or not oh there's a car coming oh dear I really don't like it when cars go by now we go back up the driveway boy it's beautiful out the sun is in my eyes Oops, that was slippery there. Wow, I hit a, I hit an ice patch. Wonder if Emily's cleaning her driveway. I doubt it. I don't think she's even outside. Whew. Well, all I can walk is the driveway because it's so high. It's, that's how high the snow was. It'd yeah. be up here on me, on my leg, like yeah. way, way up by my knee. That's why those other boots were actually the better boots for me to wear in the snow, even though they're very big. Mm -hmm. But still, the snow was going inside them. Yeah. These, I would have, this would have been bad. I, these are so short. The snow would have been all over me and in my shoe. You're making too much noise. I'll move away from you. <laughs> He's pretty noisy with this shovel. So we'll move away and we'll walk up this other path. It's a little shorter path. He's got two paths. This is a different path that I'm going up. Let me push the snow and I'll show you the snow that's behind me. It's up by my building. Good thing I don't have to get in my building. Oh, my eye is teary. When the, there we go. There's the snow on the building. When it's, when it's cold out like this, my one eye tears with the cold. I guess we'll go in and see what I've got. Hopefully I'm in the frame because this was a good walk. Well, I'm gonna go back in. I'll see ya. He doesn't hear me. He's got his ears plugged with his iPod thing. He's got it in his pocket and he listens to um, different podcasts as he's shoveling so he doesn't know. He likes the quiet time by himself. Okay. We went outside. Now we'll go inside. There's the path I took in the snow. I came off this porch which is quite high for me and I walked and I fell. You can sort of see where I fell. And then I walked a little more to the neighbors, to where the neighbor was. And, and then I came back and then I had to crawl onto the deck. And then I got up and came back into the house. 
that snow was really high. My boots are about three inches too short. The tall boots that I wear went out to the to give the eggs to the neighbor. My other boots would be extremely short because the, the snow was up to my knees when I was walking through it. So it was high. And my boots only go a little above my ankle, the ones that fit me. And the boots that I wore, that I wear out in the chicken yard, I wear them to go out there because they're easy to slide on and slide off. Those are really high, and they're still three inches too short for the snow that we had. Well, that is my video for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.